1,977 perished, over 6,000 that were injured. The World Trade Center in New York, the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia, not to forget United Flight 93 that went down in Pennsylvania. This morning we're going to take time to recognize first responders, those who run to while we're running from. We celebrate you and we might have been attacked but we weren't whooped. We rise up in victory. We rise up united. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And if you agree with that, give God the best praise. Come on and bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first airplane hit the North Tower. Flight 11, searing through the elevator shaft, ruining any chance of escape for the upper floors. Gas spilled from the plane's wing and mixed with the impact, combusting into an explosion, and a fireball streamed down the elevator shaft, burning bystanders in the lobby. This, this was, was my first national tragedy. The steel melted with the chemicals and the smoke became unbearable. So was the thought of those failing bodies of souls that would rather jump to their death than be burnt to death. We didn't know what to expect next. Every channel was filled with repetitive videos of a tragedy. Plane striking buildings seemed too unreal to me, too devastating to conceptualize. Crying eyes, yelling mothers, uncertainty filled the hearts of every American tuned into the news. We were contacting relatives to make sure they were all right and my sight was ever so limited then. One year ago seems like a long time, let alone 10. And I remember every detail as if it was five minutes ago. It was the day I became afraid of strange names and people that don't look like me. On that day, flying became a death sentence and peace of mind, a piece of history. It was the first time I questioned him. I yelled, how could you? I cried out, but received no answer. Maybe his lines were busy with countless people trying to cash in years of good deeds to save themselves. I watched the death tolls rise from inside the twisted metal and collapsed concrete. One by one, heroes became victims. Optimists lost hope and our nation was shattered. And I can still remember where I was when they bombed our towers. Eighth grade watching TV, my insides turned sour. It was on every channel for a good 24 hours and there's nothing worse than to see a coward with power. 3,000 casualties were product of this tragedy. And there's no explanation for the pain in our anatomy, honestly. They're built an abundance of animosity that only the Lord could take away the weight of this gravity. But somehow, through a tragedy, a blood rose from concrete to show that the American spirit couldn't be beat. NYPD, NYFDs, and EMTs, along with nonprofit organizations and citizens, show unity. For the first time, we was one body and one people, black, white, gay, or straight, all under one steeple, that we will believe in the God we trust to be equal, to bring deliverance to the ones he will call were his people. So from the depths of my soul, I exclaim to the Messiah, and I salute all those who ran to the fire, who gave their blood, sweat, tears, and lives, the true heroes we admire. But when we felt low, you made believe we could be higher. I wonder if they knew that as the water from the busted pipes and throngs of desperate people flooded down the steps, there were heroes and sheroes running towards the fire, preparing their minds to carry the immobile bodies on their back. I wonder if they knew that this finite event caused by their finite decisions had infinite consequences. I wonder if they knew that on that day people came to Christ and others drew closer. I wonder if they knew that families were restored and we all realized that our time on earth is too minute to live with heart and heart. If and only they knew. knew that for nine, many of us, 9-11 was our rebirth, our brand new start. 
America as a whole moved away from scared and settled into unity. This was an event that had nothing to do with a race or an income or a political affiliation. This, this was, was an event, event that affected us as, as a, a nation. nation. We bound together as an army and became one. We shunned prejudiced behaviors like we realized we were saved by the same sun, created by the same God and unified by the same blood. Some may have thought that our strength only lasted for the moment. But here we are, 10 years later, we're still standing, still the land of the free. From the ashes rose a new nation, one united in tragedy. Fear knocked us down but couldn't keep us there. No, we, we fought, fought back. back. We weren't named the home of the brave for nothing. And despite all the fire, all the death and debris, our star-spangled banner still waves. We must move on now. But we can never forget the lives that were lost on that September day. This was my first national tragedy. But somehow through that tragedy, a bud rose from concrete. America as a whole moved away from scared and settled into unity. And despite all the fire, all the death and debris, our Star star-spangled banner still waves. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we held At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free and the home 